You urge me, Lord, with you to dine, to eat the bread and drink the wine, and thus enjoy your life divine. So I'll sit with you. I place my hand in your hand, and joyously I walk along with you, O Lord. I place my hand in your hand, and joyously I walk along with you, O Lord. Discord with you, Lord has no part. I must be one in mind and heart with all my neighbors close and far so I'll bring them to I place my hand in your hand and joyously I walk along with you O Lord I place my hand in your hand and joyously I walk along with you O Lord My dear friends a hearty welcome to each one of you for this holy Eucharist of love Today we shall pray for senior citizens our elderly parents at home our grandparents maybe elderly people in our neighborhood those who are in the home for the aged in the ashrams we ask our dear lord to bless them in abundance may the lord bring comfort bring company and bring healing to those who are sick in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. Let us call to mind all our sins and our failures. Let us ask the Lord's pardon and mercy for those times that we have failed. Let us also remember and pray and ask the Lord's pardon for those times that we have ill treated our parents ill treated those who are elderly at home for those times that we have abused for those times that even have hit them for those times that we have chased them out of the house for those times that we did not honor and respect them lord forgive us of all our sins I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what have I done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. And therefore I ask, bless Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. May the working of your mercy, O Lord, we pray, direct our hearts aright. For without your grace, we cannot find favor in your sight. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Prophet Jeremiah, chapter 11, verses 18 to 20. I knew their plot because the Lord informed me. At that time, you, O Lord, showed me their doings. Yet I, like a 
trusting lamb led to slaughter had not realized that they were hatching plots against me let us destroy the tree in its vigor let us cut him off from the land of the living so that his name will be spoken no more but you o lord of host o just judge searcher of mind and heart let me witness the vengeance you take on them for to you i have entrusted my cause the word of the lord thanks be to god responsorial psalm your response O Lord my God in you I take refuge O Lord my God in you I take refuge O Lord my God in you I take refuge save me from all my pursuers and rescue me lest I become like the lion's prey to be torn in pieces with no one to rescue me your response O Lord my God in you I take refuge Do me justice O Lord because I am just and because of the innocence that is mine let the malice of the wicked come to an end but sustain the just O researcher of heart and soul O just God your response O Lord my God in you I take refuge a shield before me is God who saves the upright of heart a judge is god a god who punishes day by day your response o lord my god in you i take refuge gospel acclamation blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart and yield harvest through perseverance the lord be with you and with your spirit A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint John. Glory to you, O God. Chapter seven, verses forty to fifty-two. Several people who had been listening to Jesus said, "Surely, he must be the prophet." And some said, "He is the Christ," but others said. Would the Christ be from Galilee? Does not Scripture say that the Christ must be descended from David and come from the town of Bethlehem? So the people could not agree about him. Some would have liked to arrest him, but no one actually laid hands on him. The police went back. to the chief priests and pharisees who said to them why haven't you brought him the police replied there has never been anybody who has spoken like him so the pharisees answered you have been led astray as well have any of the authorities believed in him any of the pharisees This rabble knows nothing about the law. They are damned. One of them, Nicodemus, the same man who had come to Jesus earlier, said to them, "But surely the law does not allow us to pass judgment on a man without giving him a hearing and discovering what he is about." to this they answered are you a galilean to go into the matter and see for yourself prophets do not come out of galilee the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ Dear brothers and sisters we are intensifying our relationship with one another and with god himself 
we are trying to heal the broken bonds. The couples that are broken are separated. This is the time that you need to mend your relationships. We need to have a very good and a proper understanding of who we are and what we are. For what purpose are we on this earth? We see the people who follow the statutes and directives of God, they suffer with many, many enemies on their way. They will have so many enemies and believe when you have more enemies on your way means you are on the right path towards doing good. It is very difficult to please this world if we act like belonging to this world then we will have to please all that is on this earth, all that profits the earth, all that gave joy and glory on this earth. But the person who is just, person who belongs to God, who is a person of Christ, will not make compromise on the values of the kingdom of God. No matter what punishments come on our way, no matter what persecutions and hatred and enmity comes on our way. You look in the life of Jeremiah. God warns him about his enemies, their evil ways and evil doings. But many a times Jeremiah was negligent. At the time he realizes that God had rightly informed him about all that happened, about their evil doings and not to get trapped in their ways, in their way of life. And they were destructive. And Jeremiah is now in agony and he tells God, you had informed me in advance, I should have been more careful. But now, that you are a just God who gives judgments rightly, I pray that the right judgments work now. That your vengeance comes on these people who have done wrong. And we see another incident in John chapter 7 verses 40 to 52. Different ideas of the people in, in perceiving who Jesus is, their perception about Jesus. Some say he is a prophet, some say he is Christ. Does a prophet come from Galilee? But yes, of course, from Bethlehem, as Moses did. He has to belong to the house of David. Yes, he does belong to the house of David. When the people were sent to catch hold of him and to be punished, they go empty-handed. The police go empty-handed. Do not hold Jesus responsible for anything. For there has never been a man like Jesus who has spoken such great truth, such great teaching, such great healing. And how can we touch this man? No one dared to lay their hands on him to trap him. So the Pharisees and the priests were behind him to kill him. Nicodemus says, Is it not lawful to allow a man to be tried before giving statement should the person not have time to defend and give his or her statements of truth? Yes, my dear friends, in the world of today, trapping people, if they are against us, has become a norm. 
to destroy their lives, to put them to the minimum, to put them under our feet, has become the norm. Look at the world around, especially in political line. If they are not with us in doing the deeds that we do, try to destroy them. Try to put raids on them and press them so that they do not raise voice against injustice and against their doings. This is what has happened. But Jesus was strong enough to go ahead doing all that he did. And so, my dear friends, Jesus invites us today to follow him ardently with the way he is and he was. Have no fear in following Jesus. Let there be persecutions, let there be crosses, let there be tensions and turmoil against you for being truthful. Jesus will make us partakers in his sufferings, in his death, and finally in his resurrection. Let us rejoice in this great event of Christ, making us all partakers in his Paschal mystery. Amen. Sometimes when troubles are many, life can seem empty, it's true. But look at the life of the Master, who lovingly suffered for you. From our hearts, both frightened and free. Take what we bring now, give what we need. All done in His name. All that we have and all that we offer comes from our hearts, both frightened and free. Take what we bring now, give what we need. Pray, my brothers, my sisters, that this sacrifice of ours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, we pray, with these oblations you receive from our hands. And even when our wills are defiant, constrain them mercifully to turn to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, our Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took prayer and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, 
for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Derek our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we all dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, Graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other this loving sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold, he who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. But the world keeps always judging For my heart it does not see 
Only you with eyes so searching See the change of heart in me Come back, my love, you call me Come back to me and stay My heart is full of mercy For the sinner who goes astray Come back, my love, you call me Come back to me and stay My heart is full of mercy For the sinner who goes astray Let us pray to Mary, our mother, for all the necessary graces, both material and spiritual. Let us ask our dear mother to intercede for us, praying for Russia and Ukraine, praying for peace in the world, praying for our country, praying for those who are suffering due to COVID-19, praying for those who are writing the exams, those who are preparing for the exams. Those who are preparing for the interviews, for jobs. Dear Mother, we ask you to bless those who are sick, those who are undergoing surgeries, those who are in the hospitals, those who are suffering and struggling in life. Bless all those couples who are waiting for the gift of child. Bless our families with peace, joy and happiness. Bless all those who are persecuted for the sake of your Son, Jesus. Bless them all and give them strength and courage to bear sufferings. Bless us all during this time of Lent that we may sincerely prepare ourselves to return to your Son, Jesus. Let us pray. Look upon your people, O Lord, and as they draw near to the coming festivities, bestow upon them abundance of heavenly grace, that helped by the consolations of this world, they may be impelled more readily towards higher goods that cannot be seen. Through Christ our Lord, Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. My dear friends, may you have a great day with your family and friends. Mother of God, plead with your Son. Pray for us sinners, Mary most pure. Mother of God, plead with your Son. Pray for us sinners, Mary most pure. May God pour cleansing streams over us, washing our souls from every stain. Mother of God, plead with your Son. Pray for us sinners, Mary most pure. Mother of God, plead with your Son. Pray for us sinners, Mary most pure.